It is Saturday. It is yard sale day. We're actually 40 minutes early to this yard sale. We usually don't get here that early. It's be the early bird. There's a couple yard sales. We're gonna go see if we can find find a flip online for a profit. That is Charleston. What is that? Yeah, that'd be on the, now. Yeah, that'd be on the battery. Looking at North Meeting Street. Huh. That's pretty nice. A dog. Some of these old razors are worth. Oh yeah, Linux, little Linux guys. Yeah. Styler's hair shaver. That's pretty nice. I don't need that. I'm not a big fan of shaving. <laughs> Other than my head. That's a cute little teapot. James Sadler. Does I say that right? This is the men area. Got a wagon. Oh, is that a heater? That is a heater. That's nice. These things are always sell very quickly. This one looks neat, brand new. What's got over here? You hey, like pewter? Yeah. No, is this a pewter? There's another one there. No, that's not it. That one's neat, though. It's got a name on it. Georgia the Jungle. Look at this uh, oh. really old brush. Yeah, that's cool. It is cool. I don't know if they're really worth anything. You like it? So um, much is. Look at this. It's a rose. It's from... a seashell. Oh. That's from Beauty and the Beast. This thing's pretty nice. Oh, that is nice. Made in Italy. It's pretty. Raindrops keeps falling on my head. Raindrops falling on my head. I think it's for um, eating? Sushi? Like you have your... Sushi in there? Maybe, and then you would dip your stuff in there. Let's see. Very possible, I'm not 100% sure. see that. These things are heavy. Oh, there are those. Uh oh, this works. Alright, it's too early. Feeling too early for that. Oh, yeah. He's cute. He is cute. He's got a stain on him. Yeah. He's probably sitting outside. It's a build a bear. Morning. It's a reindeer. Oh, that's nice. You want them? Put it back in the bag. No. All right. So she does want three dollars for each of those. Is that okay? Cause they're Linux. Um, I could do four for both. For both. Sounds great. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you. Okay. And so, how about for all of it? Oh, okay. Let's see. Nine dollars for everything. How's that sound? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Tie him down. Oh. Where are you going? He's looking for them. That's probably where he heard him. Yeah, that's wrong. Oh, yeah. Huh. Who is that? Where's Sam? <laughs> that's like a. It's fairly old. I have an old Victorian, and I have them upstairs. I thought you could This is crazy looking. But I don't know what they're going to do with that. It's just what's adding. Mm hmm. So I picked this little Ziploc bag up and I can tell there's like a little tins in here, medical tins and some other tins like with advertisements mostly for like some tobacco stuff and some cotton swabs or something. But the letter in there was pretty interesting. It wasn't actually a letter. Inside was gas ration cards from uh, World War II. They actually do sell online even if they're filled out. So I do purchase that thing for $7.50. And one of the tins are actually listed for 79 bucks, but it really seems like they sell closer to about 15 to 20 bucks a piece. That's a good looking bird. I like birds. That's the end card. Yeah. I actually convinced my dad who was a carver and I brought it with me and I'm like, well, it's, uh, uh, eagles just aren't my big thing, but they were for him. I have the whole geographical history of, of this woman 
She's related to George Washington Ball, who was married to George Washington, the second wife. Oh, wow. I had a whole, she was unbelievable. All her relatives, I've got it all on a CD, all the pictures when I sold it all off, put on the ancestry. It was fascinating. She just just always kept her. I don't know why, I don't even know her personally, but I hmm. kept her from the auction. She's the only one. On that, is that the uh, Nam one you got? It is 15 bucks. Yeah, and you, and you know on that, you can just, get a little bit of glue. I notice on the side. Right, right here. No big deal. That's yeah, why I'm gonna, I kept it low. I'm going to repair that. Yeah, good. For it's, sure. I've had like two of them. Yeah, it's cool. And, uh, 750. What you got there? This is. Oh, yeah. That was at my dad's long collection. So he was 99 years old. Really? How long he had it. Yeah. Yeah, what do I have on that? $7.50. Okay. So you're at 14, it'd be 15 bucks over $30. Is that correct? Is my math right? I lost all my money. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Y'all have a good day. You know, you should get that metal detector. You could find more of those things. You never know. There you go. Look. I mean, you go on the beach and get a metal detector in a... Uh, it's actually for the... That's the old white XLT. I think it's nice. Yeah, I paid a thousand for it. Then, oh, my goodness. In the day. Yeah. The only thing it's going to need the main battery, which is $49 on eBay or Amazon. Right. And it's filled with six um, AA batteries. That's, a, that's oh. an optional. So you always have a backup. I, they're going 250. I was thinking if I get 100, 100. I'd be 50. 100, I'd be happy. Okay. So I ended up looking up that uh, brand right there. And actually, they sell some very high quality metal detectors. So if you're ever out there and see the, it's called White's Spectra. They have, I think, a V3 that goes over 1200 bucks. And even that one, if she was going to say 25 bucks, I probably would have taken it for, for 25 because you can part that out or buy the battery. If it was in good condition and working condition, it would have been worth 250 bucks. Where'd you get a little bird? That's a good look. I got a picture. I've got For to free. Look her up. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was gonna be brass. That's why I grabbed that. So uh it's very old. That's really nice. So we got Kayla Cam here and she walks up to this uh little yard sale right here. Not much, just one table. That's why you cannot judge a book by its cover or your yard sale by how many tables you got because all these right here are only a dollar bracelets are one dollar and most of these are going to be alex and andy bracelets we do very well with those when it comes to our whatnot shows kayla has a whatnot show actually on every other saturday that's jewelry until the uh, holiday season then we're going to switch everything over to christmas but if you want to follow us again down below but again alex and Andy stuff usually sells on whatnot between nine to eleven dollars all depending on what charms they are all right one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You gotta at least get one more. I know. <laughs> Out with the bracelets. We've got Alex and Annie. And these will be on the Whatnot show that we have on. You got a dollar Alex and Annie's? Yeah. That's pretty good right there, now. Certain time, I go on my And you can see them. Go up, there'll be a plume line, a big plume. You see the fire and the yeah. plume. You go right up the east coast. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they just that's cool, though, but. They shot, they shot some SpaceX. So, this is a really cool Steve and Barry's hot rod like jacket. But the thing is, the sleeve, as you could tell, was super, super worn on it. And they were only asking two bucks, which is a steal of a deal, but it, it only goes between 25 to 50 bucks. They're listed super high, but they do sell uh, in that 25 to 50 dollar range. My uh, uncle had made those in, uh, I'm gonna put really my har Harley on. deck Harley seats, and he made them into a bike, bike seat. seat. Yeah. yeah, bike seat. Huh. How much? How much? Five dollars. For both of them? Yeah, somebody wants both of them because I don't, they've been on the shelf and I don't know what to do with them. Five dollars for both of them? For both of these? I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Because we don't know what we're going to do. Is that a medium or is that a small? That's a small, but it sure looks like a medium. It does. You can try it yeah. on. Big medium. I'll just take uh, these. All right. Thank you so much. Plus a four dollar tourist fee. <laughs> 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 All right, these things are pretty cool. This is a old bike uh, seat, but this one looks like an old Harley Davidson seat made into a bike seat. So that's actually, it's definitely older. So I'll have to do some Google lens and all that, but that was a pretty good deal for $2.50. So when I got home, I started looking at this seat better and I thought it was an old motorcycle seat. So I, and they made it into like an old bicycle seat. So this is actually welded on there. These are the original and there's definitely some sort of bracket that goes here to here. 
And so I took all that stuff off. We'll probably keep that one welded bracket on there. But then I start looking at old motorcycle seats. Check out some of these old vintage Harley Davidson sold for twelve hundred dollars. That one sold for somewhere around eight hundred. That one's nine hundred. Then you have the little bit bigger seats going there. But I'm thinking this one right here. That one's over five hundred and fifty. Uh, because how this one's been modified a little bit. I can't say that's a Harley Davidson seat, but it surely has the same stitching and then it has the same uh, attachment points back here and up here. I'm thinking that this is still going to probably go for a couple hundred dollars. I'm going to put it on as a vintage um motorcycle seat and then go from there it's a this is in pretty good condition the other side's in pretty good condition it's not a whole bunch of rust but that ain't too bad because i only paid two dollars and fifty cents for it so these are the items when you get home you start looking up and you're just like wow i cannot believe this thing could go for this much money this right there says swin approved so i knew that it was a pretty good brand it seems like really good high quality leather heavy duty seat in super good condition that's why i bought it and again it was only two dollars and fifty cents well, it turns out I got home and started Googling stuff. This thing's a vintage seat. Could probably go as high as that one would sold for $3.99. Best offer, so probably around $3.50, somewhere around there. One was listed for $650. It looked just like this one. Uh, so that is absolutely insane. So $5 just turned in. Say $200 for that and say $200 for that. That's 400 bucks. That ain't too shabby. When you get home, you got to do your research. And things are cheap. Like if they were asking $20 bucks for this, and 20 bucks for this, 40 bucks. I probably would have left it behind. Still would have been a good deal. I just don't know much about it. So I just bought some stuff cheap that I thought would be a good bargain. Turns out, really good bargain, really good bargain. You can't go wrong with that. It's the magnetic purse. So oh, yeah. You change them. Yeah. What, $25? For everything? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that'd be pretty good. Sure. Maybe it'll take 20 so this right here is actually pretty cool like kayla said this is a purse that is magnetized and on the outside what you do is you just wrap like different designs i guess and uh this purse was pretty heavily used the inside was really stained and right there where kayla's touching there is a, a mark on it where it's starting to come apart but if you can get a good one the actual purse alone goes for about 50 bucks and then each one of the magnetic pieces usually go for about 15 to 20. iron trivet from paris hmm, it's not that heavy <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot heavier What are you doing up in my area? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Please take care of the chill. Let me see. Hard to say. I'm going to say yes. No. I'm going to say yes. Because people say a lot of times that they're not, um, they don't have this thing on the inside. Uh-huh. So... Some weight. Hey, didn't you need seven? No, you need seven and a half pounders. Not ten, right? Um, It's a nice purse. Do some workouts real quick. How's it? How you feeling? I like her. Oh, she's working out. Oh, I know. Girl. There was a guy here, it's and he nice. goes, I don't know what I need. I'm like, here's some weights. Work on your upper body. And my friend said, Yeah, that was insulting. <laughs> <laughs> So those York plates are right there. Those dumbbells are going to be used uh, personally by Kayla, but York is a really good name brand. The more round they look, the more they're worth. So there's some that are semi-round looking and some are really round. And even at $10, some of them can sell upwards of 200 bucks. You got something on your hand now? Do you look like you're... Yeah, they probably were in my spare room. Yeah. think of... I have a box if you want me to put them in a box. See, get them in a box. <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you. We don't want to force you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you. These are uh... <laughs> I need to work out. This move is killing you. You guys look really fit. You need those weights. That's better. It's up right? to you. <laughs> Would you do six? They've just been in my clock. What'd you say? Would you do six? Yes, yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> 
Here's two dollars for the bag, right? Two bucks. And yes. then we'll do mm -hmm. six bucks on those. Okay. All right, that'll work. Do you have any jewelry that you want to sell? It's up there. It's up there. Yeah, that's just the most up there, yeah. But oh, I didn't even see that. I passed right by. Passed right by. Oh, I have a really cool. You gotta come in. The, I have a wine cabinet that's inside. It's beautiful. It's oh, fabulous. A dollar each. That is Is there only a dollar? Yeah. All jewelry, a dollar. They're like really pretty. They are really pretty. Are... My dad got all the coach uh, wallets. Did he really? Five bucks a piece, yeah. Oh, man. I'm guessing they were real. We got tons of ones to buy all the jewelry. More jewelry? Man, so far the jewelry has been the... 2028? 2028. Hmm. So you're... You all want to retire. No. This one. This is. Has a B on it. That's pretty cute. All right, Brighton. Man, all these are nice. I'm going to go ahead and get these. One, Sweet. All right. Two, I got a whole bunch of ones. And 11. Okay. There you go. And that's for uh, a watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean. I got yeah. it and I'm like, I think I used it like once and then yeah, I'm like, very pretty. you know, I need more of these kind. Oh yeah. Perfect. We did our own we're gonna, ourselves. We we're going to so follow you ones. guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. I was yeah. like, oh great. So many supplies. Cuff Sleeves. Yeah, Cup this sleeves. will be good for like giveaways. For two bucks? Yeah. For my jewelry show? Oh. Because I don't have any really cool giveaways. That would be all the cool giveaways you were talking about. I'm trying to have. Is that okay? It's okay. I like this dog burying his bone in the yard. Yeah, if you really do like it, I'd take five for it. Oh, I gotta have it for five. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Excellent. Check this thing out. This is too cool for school. Not for sale, not going on eBay. This is mine. I'm going in the backyard. Can't open the door. Check it out. That's a cool dog. Pretty day. Yes, it is. It's like perfect weather. <laughs> it is. You can't get any better no, than this weather no. right now. That's that's Avon. Both of those things are Avon, and they hold up so well. There's some matching earrings with the necklace, and you can take them out if you need to. I'll I'll cut you. I'll let you have them both for six instead of eight here. Okay. I'll cut deals on anything, just not to pack it back. <laughs> <laughs> that's so right. I hear you. Uh, we just did a, a yard sale not too long ago, and it was. It was like, when she got it out there, you're like, man, I don't want to bring this back I in the know, house. I know, I know. That's the worst part. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's not bad sitting here selling stuff. That's right, fun, right. but you're like, <laughs> like, just kind of take it, you know? I don't want to bring it back in. It took me a lot of time to get it out here. I had a lady pull up today an hour before we started, and she said, can I see your jewelry? I said, it's, it's cosmetic. Well, she went through the jewelry. I get. I reckon she thought I was going to have gold and silver. Sure, you know? yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not yard selling my gold and silver. <laughs> Did you do 10 on both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's Avon too, the necklace. The yellow necklace. The earrings are not okay. Avon that match with it. But okay. Yeah. 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 How's it going? How are you? Doing good. Ooh. Is it hot enough out here for you? That feels pretty good. Yeah, I still got my <laughs> sweatshirt really? on. Oh, she, she's a, she could be in uh, florida yeah you could be in the equator and be cold <laughs> yeah that's funny not me uh, <clears throat> that sun hits me immediately sweating yeah me too i can think about warm weather and be like man, man. i love that color that you have on your nails how much are your shoes um five dollars five dollars do you know i paid 189 dollars for those things and Ooh. i wore them to a wedding yeah. they're too big they're size 11. Out 
So I believe her when she says she paid 180 bucks for them because these are the good ones with the leather bottoms. There are some that the Tory Burch shoes that have like uh, rubber on the bottom that don't go for that much money, but these should still probably resell in that condition for close to 100 bucks. All right, well, thank you for thank the you. shoes. Appreciate it. You too. I like that. I gotta go get me a mouse today for my computer too. Yeah. That's nice. Where are you gonna put it? You can put it in your pocket, be a pocket organizer. No. I was trying to see what space is gonna fit in, but you could put it in I get the Oh, husband and wife. And they they're magnetic. Oh. See ours would be polar opposites. Magnetic. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> not How's polar it going? Opposite. Good, how are you? Doing good. How much do you want for your salt and pepper shakers? Uh, they're two dollars each. Two dollars. Uh, okay. Thank you. How much is your jewelry? Um, necklaces are like four. A lot more. Um, these are for So they're better quality. Uh, watches are three. Earrings are fifty cents. This set's like five. Yeah, people like that brand. It's a good brand. Yeah. Especially for like. Is that one on too or no? Yeah. Is that one too? Oh yeah, I didn't even see that one. So you have 11 of them there? Mm-hmm. What did I tell you originally? I forgot already. Um, I think you said $4 a piece for the necklaces. Okay, so why don't we do $2 each? Okay. So you have 11, um, so it'd be 22 all together? Oh, you'd do 20? I'll do 20. Yeah, okay. Make it even number. I think they're real Yeezys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Yeezys one of these? Yeah. Oh, it does say anything. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're real. Maybe. How much are you asking for your shoes? $3? So we had to see if these things were actual real Yeezys. I don't think we've ever found these types of shoes before. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we know of them, but we've never found them before. Only $3. We ran the code. We'll go ahead and run them through the Check Check app, but they do look like maybe we're wrong but they do look like that they are real and that means that they go for how much one went for 70 or 700 dollars 700 so they're easily probably going to go for well over 100 bucks and we got them for three dollars that ain't too shabby so we did get home and ran these through the check check app and sadly as most of you know if you guys are shoe people they did not pass result not pass so right there these are not real yeezys um kayla i think these are actually too big for her so we're just out three bucks it was worth the thing it was a little learning lesson there we're gonna figure out exactly you know what a real one looks like I, like i said we've actually never found a pair of yeezys out in the wild before but these are a three dollar loss three bucks <coughs> three bucks for that that's nice mm -hmm. yeah, it's encyclopedia of Carly yeah oh uh coffee table book portland Fly rod. That's brand new. I never put a. Yeah, I think it's nice. I never put a real on it. Yeah. It's very, <laughs> very rarely. And then pretty... I have a bamboo. Right. I have two six piece bamboo. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice for five bucks. I'll take that for sure. And we got that for three. Get a little more look around real quick. I need something else for 50 cents. We could do. Maxine yelling it like it is. Attitude for 50 cents? I only got a book. Pug shots. Oh, pug yeah. shots. I think they're literally pictures of pugs. <laughs> well, we could probably do this for 50 cents. Right? Yeah. Found something else. Got a buck here. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. So we were back from yard sales and not a terrible yard sale day, but not the best that we've ever had. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the dog and the bone thing in the front yard. Kayla is immediately going to be like, hey, put that in the backyard. We're going to go ahead and get that thing out of here and put it directly in the front flower bed. All right, look how cool he looks. He's going to look awesome. It's our big Sega Palm too. That thing has grown so big, but check it out. Like right here, right in the middle. I don't think she's ever going to notice it. I know you didn't put that bottle in there. I know you didn't put that bottle in there. <laughs> in front of the thing? 
That's a cute looking dog. I told you folks, she wasn't going to like it. <laughs> in a weird spot. It's not. It's in the perfect spot. Here, Every let's move, let's move Mr. Frog. Well, we know we're going to uh, re... We're going to go ahead and redo the flower bed sooner or later. Heavy. Yeah, he weighs a ton. So, I, th I think we got moles or something. But that will probably end up in the backyard. Because I, I think we got to clean it or something. It looks a little funny. Not a bad day out there at the yard sales. It seemed a little slow in the beginning. And then we, like this stuff right here, we didn't know what we were picking up when we picked it up. Um, some things are expensive and I don't want to take the chance. If it's 20 bucks or 30 bucks, I don't really know anything about it. I usually leave it behind. But for $2.50 or five bucks, I will take the chance, like the $3 Yeezys that are fake. We took a chance. They looked real. They felt real. I've never actually felt a real pair of Yeezys. Uh, so it is what it is on that. You lost three bucks. And this one right here where we took a chance on $5, end up making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bucks. So that ain't too shabby. Remember, we do have new pot charms on our website, thebeardedthroughmachine.com. If you to check those out, Kayla has handmade those. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Comment down below. Like the video. You know I will always get you on the next one.